Hello, beautiful. What's up, guys? Everything Apple Pro here, and today we got our hands on the AirPods Pro. So, of course, Apple doesn't want to send me them early, but on launch day, let's check these bad boys out. We've been uh, seeing this in the leaks probably for a little over a month now, and see them in person. Kind of interesting always to see how close they got, and let's actually test them out, compare them to Apple's AirPods 2. These are $249 now, uh, extra $50. Is it worth it? What do you get feature wise? And just generally, are they a good product? How's the sound? So these are technically AirPods 3 generation wise, although they're an entirely separate line. I'm a little surprised that Apple didn't discontinue the original. They're still selling the first and second generation. And of course, these are an entirely new category with active noise cancellation. I realized I don't need a knife for this one. All right, obviously the packaging is bigger and the actual casing is bigger. Overall though, very reminiscent of AirPods 2 here, pretty much same design, and they already look smaller over here. Cool, AirPods Pro wireless charging case. Interesting that they need to note that because you can't really buy it without one, but okay. So far, pretty much the same unboxing experience, and here are the AirPods Pro. So it's a little more egg-shaped. Casing is definitely interesting, but pretty much like 15% larger here. Still has the LED in front, although it's backed by a white insert. It's not really black inside. Interesting, okay. And of course we still have lightning on the bottom, so Apple isn't making the transition to USB-C yet. Although we have heard rumors before of USB-C AirPods happening in the future most likely. And on the back, the similar material matte feeling as AirPods 2, just a bigger hinge here of course the pairing button and oh nice now these definitely do look like all the memes are painting them to look like the uh, pokemon bell sprout or the plants versus zombies man they're so interesting in person so the thing about like the renders and actually seeing these in pictures is it doesn't really justify the design in person wow that's uh definitely interesting they're very tiny very short so in comparison to the original AirPods, they are definitely shorter, more stout, chunkier, but the stem itself is shorter, the antenna, if you will, and I think that that's more aesthetically pleasing to me definitely than having this stick out of your ear. I remember how ridiculous feeling this was originally when they just came out, but now it's just normal. So this improves on that. And let's, uh, let's take a look at that design. So I always love seeing the little tiny things that Apple does. Now on the side here, we have the force sensor, which doesn't actually have any 3D touch element to it. From what I hear, it just reproduces a sound inside when you press it to emulate a click. On the bottom, the actual stems are more efficient now. They're just a very small contact point on the left and right, and there's a microphone built in. So that's Apple's fashion right there to constantly improve and make the design more efficient, simpler. I love it. Now there's an actual sensor in this black area right here. So they combined this area, very clean. So instead of having those two elements being separate, I love that about Apple, constantly refining, constantly improving. And I'm assuming this sensor here gets replaced here. And of course we have our text in the same area as the original AirPods. Now let's see about removing these tips. So, oh wow, it's quite a bit of force that holds those in there. Not perfectly round. I thought they were, but no, and that just, pops back in and wow, it's actually a lot less effort to put it back in than it is to remove it. Okay, so, so far everything's checking out. I'm liking it a lot. Let's test out the actual fit. So you'll get it wrong probably half the time as they won't fit both ways. Okay, so with an iOS 13.2 equipped device here, let's uh, open these up. Okay, no response right away, but. There's that one, AirPods Pro, the familiar animations, and connect. It's that simple, and they're now connected. So it does give you this little tutorial. This is new, the media controls. First once to play pause, twice to skip, and then three times to go back, and then noise control. You press and hold the force sensor to enable the transparency mode. And then of course you have the additional controls in the control center. And let's test out that fit. Without even trying out the other tips, I'm assuming these are the ones for me. They seal the ear canal passage pretty much perfectly. Like, sounds very strange. So in the control center, you have these ping pong paddles now. <laughs> really funny looking icon. And 
there's noise cancellation. Let's try transparency mode. Oh, wow, that is strange. It's like talking to yourself in an echo chamber, but it sounds really good. So with Kanye's new album here, I can hear things outside of the music I'm playing, but at the same time hear the music. It's the coolest thing. I say that alone is worth $50. In fact, it can probably keep you safe even in traffic, walking around in public. Maybe someone's trying to get your attention or maybe you're passively trying to listen to someone while still enjoying your music. You could do that with these. That is cool. I didn't think I'd like that that much. Okay, and then you can turn noise cancellation off. Oh, wow. That is such a big difference. I am genuinely shocked at how good that is. So my favorite headphones are the Bose 700 and obviously this doesn't have that same level of noise cancellation as those are on-ear or over-ear headphones, but I'm genuinely shocked at how big of a difference the modes make as it's not just a gimmick. Apple has put in the effort and as we know inside, there's a microphone on the inside and on the outside of the AirPods Pro and Wow, it definitely works. There's another big feature with this exhaust port here is that it uses a new mesh type of grill, which actually protects against wind buffeting better. And I'm excited to test that out outside. Overall though, I'm liking these a lot, design-wise alone. I mean, what do I look like? Oh yeah, way smaller. I mean, I hope you don't look down on regular AirPod owners because there will be a difference. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I mean, that's cool. I'm very impressed at how sleek and small they look. Now let's see uh, the shake test, see if we can... Uh... Yeah, so you can make them fall out, but it's not easy to do. I'd say with regular AirPods, it's probably... Oh no. <laughs> nope. Both stay in your ear fairly well. Well, this one you really have to seal off and push them in there for them not to fall out. I don't think that'll be an issue at all. Let me test out that force sensor though. Ooh, the click is so subtle. Plays a little click noise effect into your ear. It's so interesting, man, how they emulated a real click even though nothing is being depressed on the plastic. And then double tap, triple tap, and then you hold the force sensor to enable transparency mode. There's a nice sound effect when that disables and enables. It works. That's probably my favorite feature, the force sensor slash transparency mode. Apple has killed it. That, that alone is worth $50 for me. Now, as far as we know, battery life isn't any better. Although if you are using the active noise cancellation, it is 30 minutes worse versus AirPods 2. But let's check out the actual sound quality, how these compare, and we'll do some audio sharing here. Ooh, so when it's in dual mode, there's this new interface here. Very cool. So it won't let you use noise cancellation without both AirPods. Huh. So I'll play the same song on both sets of AirPods and I'm already fairly used to this sound quality. Let's try out AirPods 2. I would definitely say there is an improvement. Like I could not tell the difference between AirPods 2 and AirPods 1, but here it's a richer sound. Although these were always good. Obviously with active noise cancellation, you're gonna get a more isolated sound, but even the sound driver itself sounds a little bit more powerful. It's quieter in the same noise level, but I can make out the details maybe a little bit better. It's a little richer sound. Now, obviously these are the pro version, so you are going to be getting pro level audio, whatever that means. Still, I'm, I'm very impressed. So Apple, man, somehow they always knock it out of the park. And of course the design looks better than the leaks showed. And Apple did include in the settings for AirPods Pro some adjustment modes. And this is of course to get the perfect fits. I assume that out of the box, they're gonna use the one that's likely to fit the most amount of people. But inside you have some replacement tips here or different sized tips. And they're small, large, and I'm assuming of course these are medium. So ear tip fit test. So this does a quick algorithm determining, oh yeah, good seal. If there's a good seal, it uses both microphones. And that's, this is really brilliant thinking right here. I love this. So medium seems to be the one for me, but I do wanna see if we do use the wrong fit, will it be able to determine that? Let's see what it says with the not good tip fit set. Oh, it says good seal too. Hmm. So I guess I could use either or one of those. Large, just for the heck of it. I want to see it say bad seal. Let's see what it says. Adjust or try a different ear tip. Man, are my ears different sizes? No. Okay, now it says good seal. So I guess it um, isn't always accurate or my ears are very adjustable, but I'm assuming medium works best for me here. That's good engineering. I can't believe they were able to 
get this down to such an exact science, that click. Amazing work. So at this point, would I prefer them over AirPods 2? Absolutely. The transparency mode just sold me. The sound quality is fantastic. It's obviously more isolated. And let's go out on the deck and see if I can actually hear my music better versus AirPods 2 with some traffic in the background. Okay, so we have traffic going on, construction downstairs, a lot of ambient noise here, some birds chirping with AirPods 2 in. And this is all, of course, subjective. So I can hear a lot of background noise. I'd have to turn it up fairly loud here in order to muffle it by being louder than that noise. I'm popping in Apple's new AirPods Pro. Oh, it creates this weird popping noise. But most definitely, I cannot hear the background noise. It's just me and my music, as it should be. Very impressive. Then again, you're probably gonna get similar sound from Sony's new 1000 series, probably even better. But for $249, an upgrade over standard AirPods 2, I'd say without a doubt, it is worth it. Personally, you're getting that force sensor, transparency mode, pretty much a smaller, cleaner design. And even the sound quality, I'd say, is marginally better, but it is better. So one more thing about these is that they are water resistant and Apple says an IPX4 rating, meaning they can be splashed from any direction. I wouldn't go so far as to go into a pool with them, but that capability certainly is there if you wanna get really sweaty or a really intense workout. And just for the kicks, I wanna test the range here. Both do have Bluetooth 5.0, so playing one of Kanye's greatest hits. Let's take a walk here. I seriously love these. Like, I, I did not think that I would walk away loving them, but I do way better than Powerbeats Pro. I would not even consider getting those knowing that these are out. Just easy, pop right in. Now, I never really liked the way Powerbeats Pro wrap around your ears. Um, so far, I'm in love with them. Okay, hope nobody steals those. We're getting pretty far. We're 100 feet plus now. Actually, both just cut out. AirPods 2, in and out. Yeah, I'd say the range is identical, no difference there. So, both cut out literally at the same spots. Same Bluetooth 5.0 technology, can't expect much else. One more thing I'd like to mention is in the box you get a USB-C to lightning cable, which means if you don't have the new iPhone 11 or 11 Pro or the new iPad with the 18 watt power block, you will not be able to charge your new AirPods. So keep that in mind, that's an extra $29 on top of the 249 that Apple's already asking for. Otherwise, closing thoughts, guys, I love them. The design, it's a little freaky at first, but you'll get into it, trust me. The sound is worth it. The new transparency mode is great. I love the force sensor. You know, this is the AirPod upgrade we've all been waiting for and we all want it. No health sensors of any kind, which is surprising we were hearing about that but overall a great upgrade and worth the $50 in every way. Lastly, last chance to win one of six AirPods. I'll be drawing winners in just a few days here. I'll have details on that giveaway down below in the description. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's AirPods Pro and I approve.